hey y'all welcome back to my channel so i'm getting ready to go down and fix breakfast for my husband and i i have been having a taste for some grits i feel like i had grits recently oh yeah when we went to um waffle house i had some of my husband's grits and they were really good i didn't get a chance to finish them because i was just so full but yeah so I got some quick five minute grits and I'm probably gonna fry up some bacon. I've been cooking this, that applewood bacon like every day. It's so good. But yeah, I'm even looking forward to lunch today, which is leftovers of the salmon croquettes that I made last night with the rice and then some broccoli. Mm. See, I'm the only one that ate that yesterday because my husband wanted a pot pie. So I baked him a pot pie. And then my son had um, half a cheeseburger and some nuggets, which he didn't really eat his food. But yeah, so my husband, he tasted one of the salmon croquettes yesterday. And he was like, oh, these actually taste good. And I was like, what you mean? He told us uh, they be hit or miss sometimes when I cook them, but last night they was good. He was like, if I would have known it was going to taste like that, I would have told you, yeah, I wanted some. He's shady. He is shady. Even though we've been eating out every now and then, I've been really sticking to like eating at home. So we're doing pretty well with the groceries. Matter of fact, I was like, dang, uh, are we gonna have to go grocery shopping earlier than we usually do? Because I don't know if we have enough groceries um, <laughs> to make it to the date that we usually go grocery shopping. But one thing about me, I'm very resourceful. And um, I have almost forgot about the salmon croquettes, right? And I was like, oh, okay. So that's one less thing that I have to pull out the freezer or whatever. So that's why I made that yesterday. And that was so good. I got a feeling my husband going to make me run that back pretty soon. And I do have another can just in case he do want some more. And I got some cans of tuna in there. Thinking about trying to see if I have enough ingredients to make maybe a tuna casserole tonight. I don't know. One thing about me is that I struggle with making grits. My husband is the one that's really good at cooking grits, but like my grits be like either too watery or too dry. But my husband, he does them just right. Yes. You have a question. The sun comes up in the morning and then the moon comes up at night. You be asking me some questions that I'll be knowing how to answer because you're so smart. You think outside the box. I should point the camera over to the uh the table right now my son he's sitting over there at the table waiting like yeah i know my mama in here cooking she about to cook me something keep in mind he done already ate you got right. my tooth i got your tooth yeah mommy cooking bacon yeah you cooking bacon mommy mm -hmm. this is cooking he's still brownies these uh mommy brownies what's mommy brownies do you want to save it to cook it with daddy and your brother this weekend? Yeah. Okay. I can save it to daddy. Yeah, and Sebastian? Yeah. All right, y'all can cook that this weekend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm excited to 
I'm excited to see him too. Yeah. <laughs> I know you be missing him. You gonna say hi, camera? Hi, camera. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> My baby be helping me in the kitchen, y'all. I feel like sometimes I don't. But yeah, he learning. He's doing great with cracking eggs. Yeah, I think for the, the brownies, you're going to need some eggs. You're going to need two large yeah. eggs. I'm looking at the yeah. ingredients. Yeah, we mm -hmm. have two, so the ingredients. Mm -hmm. The ingredients on the back. Okay, now I see two first. Mm -hmm. I think I might ask Daddy to cook me some grits. Yeah, we have to serve the ingredients. What Daddy said? Oh, you heard me? You heard me? You, can you cook me some grits, Daddy, please? Yeah. He's a bit bad like a sheep. Yeah, he's a bad like a sheep. Mm -hmm. Black sheep. Bye, bye, black sheep. Ooh. Have you in mind? Yes, sir, yes, sir. You can do that, sir, bless the sheep. Uh-huh. <laughs> My baby slowly but surely getting over his coat. He sound a little stuffy. Uh, Daddy, his Daddy, nose Daddy, this is how my tuna casserole came out i was so happy especially since this was my first time my son wasn't going to eat that so i just fixed him some alfredo pasta but yeah it was so yummy Later that night, me and my husband watched the new season of Unsolved Mysteries on Netflix. If you haven't already, make sure that you check it out. It's really good. All right, you guys. Well, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Also, shout out to my man, Robert Stack, right there. Yeah, paying respect.